I'm Zoe Romano. I'm co-founder of uh, WeMake. WeMake is a makerspace and fab lab located in the city of Milan. Uh, we are focused on open design, uh, fashion design, and interaction design. Uh, and uh, we have we, people can access uh, this space uh, through a membership. So we are a community, but we are, are also a company. Um, and we, we are trying to develop uh, a new type of business model to have a social impact in our territory, but being uh, also in touch with the global community on, of Makerspace and Fab Lab. Um, we are part, I'm part of the uh, testbed uh, for the peer-to-peer -peer value uh, project uh, because uh, in, in this process of understanding what is the economy that stays and runs, helps us, help us run this space, uh, one of the fundamental um, condition is also allow the exchange of value that is non-monetary. So um, uh, a community is also a space where people can ex exchange um, different type of um, skills, uh, uh, knowledge, uh, materials, uh, or other, um, let's say, goods that are not what is usually, uh, what usually are goods for a service. So yes, people here mainly are invited to pay for a membership, so use money <laughs> to uh, be part of this because I mean it's the difficulty of uh, having a space like this is also dealing with bureaucracy, insurances, dealing with big machine and need uh, um, to be fixed uh, if they break uh, and also having a space like this in Milan means paying a, a rent that is pretty high, so we need to have some monetary resource coming in, but also we believe there is much more value in, in exchange, in the, ex the informal exchange, exchange that could happen in this community. How, how did you uh, come to get the building together and the, fun the initial funding and things? Uh, well, we've been working on it for the last couple of years. We've been trying to create a uh, um, project uh, uh, traveling around the city, so we wanted to understand which members of this territory would be interested in being part of this uh, um, enterprise in, in its wider sense. Um, enterprise is something that you start, but you don't know where it is going to bring you to. So um, in this hour, um, we created events and uh, initiatives around open design and digital fabrication during uh, design week and during other uh, period of the year, so there were one-shot events, and on uh, and on in that occasions we met a lot of people here in Milan. And at, at the end of every event, we were saying, "Oh, we are looking to uh, have a group of people to put some funds in inve and investing in a space uh, with this aim and with these objectives." And at a certain point, mm, we found. Uh, the partners that decided that they could make this uh, investment. There are uh, actually, uh, we are seven partners, but only two of them are uh, involved. Uh, me and my um, partner, uh, Costantino, are directly involved in a day-to-day -day organization of this. Uh, the other partners are behind this, the scene. They just, one of them is the co-working space that is in front of us. So one of the first partners they said, wow, we are interested in what you're doing, is the, this uh, co-working space called uh, Co-working Login. And they are um, actually, they started as a company, as an internet service provider. They opened up themselves also as a co-working space. So their main business is not a co-working space, mm -hmm. but they realized that having a lot of space, uh, they could have interesting people uh, being around also because a lot of technological startups are you could use their or their um, cloud services that they provide, and when uh, in the last couple of years we believe that the the buzzword of Internet of Things is getting more and more uh, widespread, and and so who used to deal with the immaterial um, production of software or apps now are getting really interested in uh, hardware 
and how this connection can be uh, the chance to build new um, services, new products, or new things that are also helpful for the community. And so the, the co-working said, if you come and open up the space in front of us, uh, we can help you uh, and we can give you some funds. And, so, and then other partners did the same uh, because they were interested not actually in how much money, you, it's not, we are not a startup, it's not that because we promised oh, in five years you're gonna be rich, and they say, we said in five years we could become this, we could be, have this type of impact in our territory. Uh, so with this promise, we, we could actually make the investment of buying the machine and buying the, and provide and work uh, to the infrastructure. One of the things that we started, uh, we wanted to develop at the beginning was create a platform, an, on an online platform to allow us to manage the membership in an automated uh, an automated way. So, mm, uh, because we realized that managing a place like this, it means uh, a lot of waste of time and we wanted to think about and, and make automatic action available so they were not forced to say hello every time someone gets in but having some a log to the people that come in and, and start to work uh, and use the machines. So we didn't have to spend all the time to do that. So we developed an open source project about uh, logging in, in the space and logging out and being connected with a profile on our website with a membership. So if someone has an active membership can enter autonomously the space with a card and the card, they can choose any card that they have in their wallet already and we can uh, make them uh, recognizable by our, by our um, device. It's open source device and it's based on Arduino. And, and with that, we believe that uh, thinking about uh, how a space like this can become a resource for our territory, but also for the people that are trying to build devices, uh, tools, uh, or day-to-day -day needs um, from the hobbyist to the startup that want to create the, the, the next big thing, can really uh, interact and work together in a, a welcoming environment. It's okay. Fantastic.